Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Do we got this? It's a little blurry, but that's fine. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, I gotta stretch it out. My groin. <laughs> There's no way to put that better than groin. Uh, my groin's a little tight from soccer today. It, well, soccer, but football out here in, in, in England. I guess it makes more sense. Football. You know, that makes sense. I joined a football league called the Terrible Football Club. Everyone's supposed to be really bad on that league, but apparently people are still very competitive. I would hands down say I was the worst. A goal would go in, I'd be on the completely other side of the field, and there's this one middle-aged man that was like, Michelle, and I'm like, this had nothing to do with me. <laughs> the point of the matter is, is that I'm tight and I'm stretching my, my body, but I think I should probably sit up and be a normal human being, so let me do that. Kind of obsessed with this tooth kit that I got. And uh, I took a little chance because I wasn't sure whether it was gonna work or not. I've never done a tooth gem before, but it turned out pretty amazing. So I actually wanted to do this for a very long time. I was reading reviews online and stuff, and I found that a lot of people were complaining that their tooth gems would like fall off after two days. And I didn't want to just random shit on my teeth, you know, you only get one set of teeth. So I was like, let me just, do this properly and I found a really good brand actually this is called Two Candy by Chloe she's based in the UK but she ships worldwide and the reason why I like this is because you can do this at home okay I'll tell you why I did it at home because if you go to a salon to do it they'll charge you let's say like 30 pounds per gem and if you want to get like a butterfly for example that's four times 30 that's I know you guys probably think I'm joking but I swear to god 30 60 90 120 3 6 9 12 yeah 120 that's $120 for like, actually, hold on, wait, it's more. 120 pounds is $160 American. Uh, I would never, I couldn't, I couldn't. That's why I got the do it at yourself kit. But the reason why I'm really liking this is because it's really stayed on really, really well. So it's pretty good. And I got the kit with the butterfly, so it cost me around 45 pounds, which is 50, 60 bucks. So it's not awful. I'll show you what you get in here. So basically the box looks like this. Let me show you up close. And you get these cotton rounds to help keep your lip up and like, I guess, stop you from drooling. So you get a bunch of those. And then you get this tiny little cute like glass potion jar. And this is where the gems came. I dropped one and, and if you drop one, you drop one, you know what I mean? You probably got to get a whole new kit, so. Yeah, just be mindful of that. She gives you exactly the amount of gems that you need and she gives you, oh no, actually she gives, she gave me two extra ones here. So like, I have a butterfly, so if my two like bottom wings come off, then I have some two extras. You get two toothpicks, which really elevates the feel of the box, you know what I mean? And then you get a brush. I do not know how she expected us to put this on because I was using like my actual fingers she gave us these, but this didn't like pick up the gem, if that makes any sense. So it took me a minute to put these on, and it was pretty crazy. Um, it was a stressful experience. But yeah, I have no idea how you're supposed to put these on, unless like, you, oh, that's not bad actually. I just figured it out. I think you just kind of like wet the toothpick, and then put it, oh shit. I didn't realize that's how you did it. Well, that could have made my life a lot easier. But yeah, it took me about an hour to put these on. She also gives you very, very detailed instructions, which I can appreciate because, you know, when you're adhering things to your teeth, you want to make sure you get it right. <laughs> this was very helpful. And the most important, important, important part, these little solutions. You get step number one, which preps the uh, tooth. Then you get step number two, which is like the first type of a glue. And then you get step number three, which is like the activator to that glue but she is stingy she is stingy with these little solutions it's funny because i actually met someone in Foot Locker and i was like yo where'd you get your gem done and she's like and she recommended this and she's like but don't share the glue with your friends because uh she's stingy with the glue and i gotta tell you i, I couldn't believe how little the glue you get i felt like an addict because basically i had done the three gems and then i had one wing left to do and i had run out of glue and i was like what am i gonna do i had to like I was like really scraping at the bottom here and actually as it turned out that last final wing because I didn't have enough glue it fell off so I ha ended up having to go to like a salon in the end to for them to put it on a replacement and then even have a matching color so I have like 
three white wings and then one rainbow one but it actually looks kind of dope i'm pretty happy about it anyways yeah they have a completely different process in the salons in the salons they use a uv light and i think it should last longer with the salon ones so this wing will probably be the last one standing i have had this on for like two or three weeks and actually it was funny because when my wing fell off I was sleeping and for some reason I ended up waking up exactly when the wing fell off and it was like kind of like just like loose like floating around here and I was like oh shit and I just like took it and I put it on my bedside table and I went back to bed but when I woke up I looked in the mirror and I had this like brown spot where the glue was and I was like <gasps> is that gonna be there forever I just basically took one of these toothpicks and just like clicked it off and the whole thing came off in one go which was good so if you're wondering whether tooth gems will ruin your teeth it doesn't and I know for sure because that one came off no problem if you do want to get them removed though you should go to a dentist to remove it while they're doing your scaling they use like the same glue that dentists use or orthodontists use to put on braces so I think we're pretty safe there I feel like I wanted to get like every charm I was like give me the cherries give me the gold swoosh I just like want the most and sometimes I don't know when to stop you know I can be a little maximalist sometimes it was so funny I was actually in a bar and these guys were like oh your freckles are really cute I was like no it's makeup and I was like I kind of want to get them like tattooed on my face and one guy was like too far too far <laughs> I always take things way too far I'm literally upset like I just want do you guys want to see like the type that I'm going for like this can you guys see this that's like the vibe i'm really trying to go for am i cheapening my look and my teeth by doing that maybe and i like it I actually seen one girl who did like a grill she had like a bar grill and a window which i thought was so dope i'd never seen that before and then she in the window she had um like tooth gems in the window which i thought was so cool people get so creative with this stuff oh i got lost in my phone there for like a long time i don't care to admit how long it was but basically, that's really, that's all I have to say. That's the story. So I'll see you next time. Bye. I'll see you next week. Bye.